serious, they think they're going to win. Then after the game, that's what I told them. I said, I told you that. They're down nine, and all of a sudden, they're figuring out how they try to win. That's a veteran team. Um, you know, we were, we were trying some different things, but Kinnett went absolutely bonkers on us. Um, and the, the, the plays that bothered me were the threes, because we're saying, make them bounce it. And then, you know, he guy backs away or doesn't run through and, you know, but um, Justin was really good for us. Ugo was really good for us. Um, I don't play guys with two fouls in the first half. 14 minutes to go in the first half, Robert has two fouls. Now you kind of see why. He stretched the game out. He made the plays that got us up double digits. And he doesn't have to play thinking, I can't foul, I can't, no. he's. He's fine. He's got two fouls. He can play basketball now. And I told him, if you don't want that to happen, don't foul. Don't reach in. Don't get underneath the guy when he comes down on a shot, and you, you stay in. So, but he was good. And uh, Antonio, I just thought, for again, a great rebounding team, and we out-rebound him. I mean, we fought. But, again, they won the championship. I told Rick what a job he did with this team. And think of the gauntlet he played. The last four games, the end game was us. And we're playing better. We, we're healthy now. We got Trey's not all the way back, but at least he can play. So, um, but it was a good game. Darrell, all right. John, did you even have a conversation with your guys about needing to win today for a bye next week at the SEC? No. You know the only tournament that matters to me. That after this weekend, that tournament. So, no, we never discussed it. I don't even know if they know. But I did tell them after the game, since you're winning, we're going to get a bye. You get Sunday and I give them the rest of today off, and then they get Sunday and Monday. They get three days off. So, no one caught that. That's good. This is a very... Back, Michael. Back, go ahead. Uh, Cal, you mentioned Ugo there. Uh, didn't even take a shot the entire game, but but the tone he set in the first half around the rim, how, how big a deal was that the first 20 minutes? And the biggest thing was he rebounded. Um, how about Antonio Reeves being our leading rebounder? Reed gets six. Um, Ugo gets six. Justin Edwards gets six. I mean, we had a lot of guys. We just had to fight. This is one of those games. Everybody's got to be in the fight. You can't leak out. You got to battle. You got to hit first. They're a veteran team. Um, they they very rarely do they lose here. Have they lost a league game here? What's that? <coughs> and they return to favor. John, you talked earlier in SEC play about Reed, and he said, "Trust me. You know, stick with me." There was never a doubt here. I mean, for him to come through in the second half. Is that what you were seeing out of him, knowing that this was going to come through in a big moment? The only thing, the late game, the people that are really following us know late game, he's kind of well, – he plays late game like it's early in the game. But that's why he is who he is. So my choice is just I may have to take him out in some of these stretches because, you know, um, I kept telling him we got two turnovers – or two timeouts, um, and we still were throwing balls, not crossing half court. The one with under a minute or whatever, I should have called. And I was yelling to them, but the official was too far, and I'm, but they didn't hear me, so that's on me. But he, uh, he will make free throws. How about the threes today that he made? I mean, you know, and understand, Tennessee won the championship. This game was a, at the end of the day for them was, you know, it's a Kentucky game, which they want to win, you know, but it wasn't a life and death thing. For us, it, you know, our kids played, competed. Cal, how much does the offensive firepower that obviously we've seen a bunch of seasons, saw a bunch today, give you confidence that sort of no matter what the situation is, well, you guys have a shot? Well, it doesn't matter how I feel. It's, I, I hope they feel that way. As long as they pass the ball to each other. Um, again, we had 16 turnovers. That's not who we are. We only had 12 assists. I thought there were times where Antonio held the ball, held the ball. You haven't seen that all year. And I told him, if you can't get a shot or drive, throw it to somebody and see if they can. What I keep telling these guys, whoever you throw it to can play. So you don't have to just throw it to them. Let them make a play. And so uh, 
you know, but it's, again, I got the youngest team in the country that is coming together, but it's the youngest team in the country. There are times, did I have five freshmen out there at times? Well, even if you say Ugo, Ugo reclassed. So he's, might as well be a freshman. He's, eight, he's just turned 19. So we were, we were pretty young with Antonio being the veteran and he played really well. John, you've been doing this a long time. Is there anything more gratifying than to see someone like Justin Edwards keep fighting and finally punch it through? Well, I told Tom we were walking, and I just said, you know, I know there were people, you, can't, you should take him out, that's it, he's not this. And I believed in him, and I told him that. And the greatest thing for me, you know what he said to me? Coach, I believe in you. I said, kid, just do, keep working. And it doesn't always crack on your time. Sometimes it takes more time. The biggest thing with young kids, They've got to be their biggest cheerleader. And the only way you can do that, you can't be phony with yourself. You've got to be a guy that lives in the gym. If you're phony, there ain't no one helping you. you got to be your own cheerleader. When things don't go right, I can't believe I missed it, but I'm making the next one. Um, but what he's giving us at that position is a 6'8". Now we play four guards, and he's 6'8". Antonio 6'6". Six, six. <coughs> Thanks, Coach. Thank you.